I appreciate kind of the honesty and the rawness of the answer that you just gave. A lot of people might hold that in. And to be honest with you, I felt like when you first came onto the scene, you were a lot more like that. Um, I felt like lately, and this is just a personal thing, I felt like lately you've been a little bit more reserved. Have you have you been told to kind of pull back on your personality a bit or polish it up or like, you know, not say as, not be as honest or, you know, I don't know. It's just, it's just a personal thing that I've seen. I mean, you were very mm -hmm. raw when you came out and yeah. tell me if I'm wrong. No, um, I think I'm a little bit more reserved now. I think I'm also not, you know, 19 years old anymore. Right. Um, I've been around the block a few times. I know, I know what's going to happen if I say something wrong. Right. So, um, you know, and then there have been situations where maybe I don't need to be as, I don't even want to say as honest, but like mm -hmm. situations where I don't need to be as blunt or as frustrated as I had been in the past. And um, I think that just has come with maturity and, and realizing maybe I don't need to share every single thought that's going on inside my head. Because if I were a guy, it'd be great because everybody would eat it up. Um, but since I'm a girl, people don't like it as much. So um, I'm still like trying to be myself and trying to be outspoken and, and honest, but um maybe not to the point where I'm going to get in trouble for it. That's interesting. You say that if I was a guy and, but I'm a girl and you know, people have different opinions of guys and girls. Like what have you, have you felt that negativity because you are a woman? Has there been a particular type of negativity that's come to you because you have, you are a little bit outspoken. Oh yeah. A hundred percent. Really? Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well let's, let's take Rio for example. So I come out and say, I don't want to race a cheater. Like, you know, my groundbreaking news mm -hmm. um and I, I i do get a lot of positive feedback obviously um mm -hmm. but i also get like i remember there being some article written that was like she's the nasty american like she's restarting the cold war and i was like what mm -hmm. <laughs> like what the hell you guys yeah. um so yeah it's kind of it's kind of one where like people are like oh my god she's outspoken she has opinions that's not cool like she's a girl and and they never say it but like if i were a guy they would never say anything like that. So, uh, you know, it's just kind of that double standard I have to deal with. Who are these idiots? I loved it. I loved when you were <laughs> outspoken. I was like, where's that Lily King gone? I love that person. <laughs> like, to me, it was awesome. Like, it was like captivating. And the fact that you were a woman, it was so, it was different. Like, women were just uh, usually just very reserved. Mm -hmm. haven't haven't seen that since kind of like a an amy van dyke and back in the right, in 96 yeah, yeah. when she would spit in other people's lanes or whatever but <laughs> it's like i felt like it was amazing and, and yeah again and it's not a criticism i just felt like you've toned mm -hmm. a little bit of that back and i'm like man i want some of that again you know yeah i, I mean i'm still outspoken i'm still gonna like right. call you out if you do something wrong but um maybe not as I don't even know how to phrase it maybe i i, I feel like i'm just not you know a teenager anymore so there right. there are some things that you know, you say when you're a freshman in college that you wouldn't say, you know, five, six years later. So um, right, it's gotcha. just, I think it's come with, with maturity and experience dealing with media. And, yeah. Yeah.